So I've got one of these. I got one of these. What's the difference? Which one will you pick? We're gonna be talking about that today. Before we do that, please subscribe, clicking on that button and on the bell for all of my video releases. All right, so I've been using both of these for a long time. For a long time, I was a earphone sort of person. Before all of these wireless devices, it was always with a cable. Uh, I've been an Apple guy for a long time, so I've always had Apple headphones. But because I do music stuff as well, I've had Shure headphones for a long time, and they were brilliant. But then, years back, they've started now developing devices that are now fully wireless, and they sound awesome. Of course, the annoyance with having wireless devices is batteries. They don't last forever. Like with a cord, you plug it in, and there is no battery, right? It's just it's just a cord. So let's start firstly with my Apple AirPod Pros. Um, had these for a little while, and I had the original uh, AirPods first, and they were really good. Um, I just wanted something that was simple. I wanted something that did not have any cords, and I wanted something that was discreet, something that was little, uh, that just looked good, and I was already in the Apple ecosystem. Grabbed a pair of those AirPods, and they were brilliant. Um, the great thing about those AirPods, of course, were that they were uh, they're Bluetooth compatible and they easily worked across all of my Apple devices. But because they were Bluetooth, they also worked across other non-Apple devices, any other device that had Bluetooth. So they worked with my PC, they worked with other Android phones and other things like that as well. So the AirPods were brilliant. You could do a lot of commands, you could talk to it, you could do start, stop music, you could double tap, you could tap to do certain commands. Uh, against the uh, the earphone themselves. Um, I then opted and got, got myself the actual pro versions, which are these ones, because I wanted something that was a little bit more superior. These ones sound significantly better than the previous model. Um, they do sound significantly better. And if you can compare the older ones, the AirPods just on their own with the AirPod Pros, that these are just on their own, like, way, way better. They got much better bass. And that mainly is because they are in-ear. They actually go inside your ear canal, uh, so it just sounds better. The great thing about these is they've got built-in noise cancelling. There's all these little sensors everywhere, listening to the ambient noise. Uh, and it just creates a really, really nice noise cancelling environment when you have the noise cancelling feature turned on. These particular ones come with uh, three different Sort of connectors you can easily just pop them off and just pop it on and then it just fits inside your ear canal now if you're comparing these say to the earlier airpods uh they fit just as snug as the early ones so i haven't had any problems when i'm going out for for a run or whatever going to the gym i've never had them ever fall out um, even when you're getting sweaty never had a problem with the early ones or with these ones falling out not a problem uh, these ones are of course a little bit smaller as well and they just uh, they look a little bit nicer than I think than the previous AirPods uh, did. And the nice thing about something like this is that you literally just pop them in your ear, all right? And because these are currently paired with this particular device, again, I've got them paired against this, uh, against my, my iPad, against my laptop, my MacBook as well. Uh, it automatically can pair between them, right? So I can Bluetooth it between all of them. But you pop, you pop these in and you get a little chime telling you, they're now ready to go. So you know straight away that you can just click play or even talk to them and say, play some music and they just play straight away. You don't have to really turn them on. You pull them out of the case, you pop them in, you hear the chime, they're ready to go. You then pop them back in your case and they start to charge. And you see there's a nice little LED light on the front there to let you know that something's going on. But the case itself, of course, is the battery for these, because these do have a battery, but they won't last that long uh, compared to when you charge them, of course. But then you charge them into here. Uh, the actual case itself has got your little uh, lightning port on the bottom where you can run that into a computer, into a wall charger, USB, charge it. It also has the Qi wireless charging. So you can just sit it on top of a wireless charging dock and it will start to charge. The other great thing is because they're Apple, um, I can see what's going on right on here. So when they're paired, it'll tell me the amount of charge that they've got. 
uh, the case, how much charge it has, and how much the left and the right have got as well. So that's these. They've got their purpose. Like I would not go uh, to the gym with something this big. I would go with something this small. So they're the AirPod Pros. I use them. I use them for specific reasons only. Now, these are the Quiet Comfort 35 II. Uh, they are currently the latest model. These, I think, are brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. Um, they're over the ear, over the head. And of course, something like this is fully enclosing your ear, your ears, inside of the actual headphone itself. Now, so straight away, without even having these turned on, I'm already blocking a lot of the outside noise more than I will be with these particular ones. Let's talk a little bit about the features. Of course, these are over the head headphones, right? So they're not individual one and two. They go over the head, so there's cabling all going through here. Uh, they are adjustable up and down, depending on if you have a big head or a small head. Uh, they move like this. They can do this cool little tilting. Look at this. Wow, look at that. That's how you pack them away. They're just very flexible, all right? So uh, you can even wear them with one in, one out, like that. And do this really cool look. But these are awesome, and they just sound good. They come in a range of different colors. So of course the Apple AirPod Pros come in just the white. Uh, they also do have noise canceling. Uh, way, way, way better. Like you can't even compare. The noise canceling in these, so much better. All right, so straight away, if you're wanting better noise canceling, these have got it straight away, okay? If you want better sound quality, these have got it, okay? Now, of course, uh, price-wise, they're not too different, but these ones, they, they're just so much better. They're so much better. The quality of the sound, the bass, the treble, especially if you're into music, uh, these just sound so much better. But they're not as practical and easy uh, to go down to the gym with. All right, if I go down to the gym, I'm not gonna wear these big things. They just, just doesn't work. They're, 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 just, they're just there, they're obvious. Some people think that they look weird I mean, if you see somebody on a train, if you see somebody walking around wearing these big things, you go, it's a bit weird. These ones, you don't go, the guy's a bit weird. These ones look a little bit cleaner. These look a little bit bigger. So there's that's one difference, right? Now, I mentioned that with these ones, you you just put them in your ears and they just, uh, they just turn on if they're paired with something. Now, these ones are also Bluetooth, so you can pair these to a number of different devices. You can get yourself an app, you can download the app from the App Store, from the Android Store. Uh, it gives you some other features, you can do the registration, you can do some other cool stuff as well. Um, but um, you have to pair them manually. Now, the other thing is um, it has an on-off switch. These ones, you just take them out of the case, you turn them, you plug them into your ears and they just do a little bell. These ones, you'll have to actually click the little switch and turn it on. And what you'll notice is as soon as I put them on, it will do a little chime and then the noise cancelling has just kicked in. The quality, the noise cancelling on these, far superior. Now to charge these things, you've got a uh, USB connector on the bottom that runs into USB-C or a USB connection and that's how you actually charge the device. Uh, you've got an up and down right here. You've got a pause, play button right on the unit. Um, you've got little LED lights here to let you know when Bluetooth is connected to something and a little battery LED to let you know when the battery is running low. But it also will give you little warnings when the battery is running low by giving you little audio prompts. Another nice feature there on the actual Bose headphones is you can actually plug them in. Comes with your standard audio cable in the pack and then can run into a three and a half millimeter jack, audio jack that you can get on a laptop or any other uh, sort of smart device as well. If you do want to run it over a cable as opposed to over Bluetooth. Uh, they can work with the uh, Alexa stuff as well. So you can actually program these to work with Alexa so you can actually talk to it that way to be able to play certain tracks. Um, but it's definitely not a smart headphone or earpiece like the uh, the AirPod Pros are. 
So of course, both units are primarily going to be used for listening to music. That's why you've got them in the first place is to listen to music, listen to podcasts, etc. But one of the great things is that you can make and receive calls on them quite easily. Now, the quality between the two is not too different. I mean, after all, the, the quality on uh, audio calls is not fantastic. So you're not going to get as good quality as you will when you're hearing uh, music. But the Bose will sound just a little bit better because it is a deeper, richer sound. So there's the summary between the two. Which one would you get? Well, it really depends on you. I don't want to tell you which one is better. There's a reason why I've got both. There's a reason why I didn't just have one or didn't have just the other. Uh, because I actually like both. I like the practicality of having one or having the other depending on the situation. Uh, but if you're looking for amazing you know, quality of sound and the best noise cancelling that you can get for that price range, go for something like this. Go for the Bose. They're gonna, you're going to be much, much more impressed with something like this than you will with this. But as I said, these are great. I'm not going to discount them. They sound good. They got their use. And they're much easier, they're smaller, they're more compact, they're, li they're li you know, a little bit more discreet than something that is this big. But there you go, uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new and hopefully I gave you some ideas around which one may be better for you. But look, comment below, let me know. Let me know if I was wrong. Let me know if I was right. Let me know if you've got other pairs of earphones or headphones that uh, you use and that you could recommend as well. But as I said, comment below, let me know, uh, like this video if you did like it, and subscribe, clicking on the bell to be up to date with all of my video releases. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll see you next time.